always pretty, but um, you know, I think what's special about this team is we find a way. You know, whether it's overtime or in the four quarters that we play, uh, we, we don't ever we don't ever uh, you know shy away from adversity, whatever it may be. We keep putting you know, one foot in front of the other, which is uh, cool to see. Coach said surviving a game like that is really a good thing, like down for down the road. Do you see that too? Yeah, it's a good lesson to learn. Uh, you know, to, to to really you know understand. You know, starting fast is always a great emphasis mm -hmm. for us, but you know, finishing finishing fast, finishing strong is you know just as important as we can see in these rivalry games. That they're always going to be chippy. They're always going to be you know no one's ever going to give up in, the, in these type of games, especially trophy games. And um, you know, shoutouts were due for really. Um, you know, playing, you know, playing really, really hard, you know, kind of just throughout the entire game, offensively, offensively for them and defensively. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll find some success, you know, down the line. But cool to see us to, to, to you know, be resilient, to, to just keep chipping away. To keep responding like that as an offense, to score on the last four drives, just, what's that take when you got that pressure and the other team starting to feel confident? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I think that's the, the biggest thing about those type of, um, type of situations is just the momentum and the, the energy that uh, is obviously created on their sideline, you know, them finding some belief in us, you know, kind of being a, in a unique situation where, um, you know, we're up, you know, a few scores and they're kind of creeping back and trying to find that, you know, right mindset to keep on, keep on pressing and, and keep on putting one foot in front of the other. But, um, you know, ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's about one guy doing their job and 11 guys, you know, ultimately, um, you know, putting it together for for each play to to make something happen. It wasn't always pretty, but um, found a way. That third and six, can you take me to that where you're, you're scrambling, Josh kind of releases after he starts blocking? Like, what went into that? What did you see there? Because that felt like a huge. Yeah, um, you know, it was late in the game. Uh, you know, kind of a man coverage look, which they showed uh, all night. They're very confident in their back end and uh, then be able to you know, disrupt the quarterback, creating pressure. So, try to keep the play alive. Uh, you know, just trying to you know, move around a little bit. And, uh, you know, glad Josh can find a little hole, a uh, little window. Kind of try to, you know, bait that defender act like I was going to run pull back and kind of dump it all to him. So, um, you know, a lot of plays kind of, you know, played out that way tonight. So, um, didn't go our way sometimes, but uh, just like I said, keep putting one foot in front of the other and uh, good things happen. You so always pat in overtime. Is that the so who you're looking for first? Uh, well, this is the unique play call. Uh, you know, I had kind of three options there. I really wasn't even looking, you know, at Pat, and, you know, kind of first. I was looking at, you know, Zakari coming across the field and kind of their deep safety. Uh, you know, kind of cut him and kind of uh, you know, created two on one, which you know you don't want to throw into that. So, which created a one on one for Pat. And you know, as we all know, if you put the ball in his area, um, good things usually happen. Uh, you know, he found a way to uh, to toe tap in the back of the end zone. You know, try to give him a good one. Uh, so. Um, you know, just keep going with that. Sorry, you know, those guys don't make good things happen. When two, when two went for two at the end, where are you? Are you watching? Are you, uh, where are you, where are you doing? Yeah, I imagine that they would have you know, going into it. <laughs> Did so. you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. I trust in my, I trust in my defense again. Those, those guys have been in, uh, you know, you know, pressure cooker situations all the time. So it was hard to watch. I'm not going to lie, but um, it was so cool to see them go to go to it in that session. Do you have a clue what's coming? I mean, did you know what, what the play would be defensively when they came or not? Uh, the very, very you, yeah, you, I had no idea. No, I had no idea. I just knew that. Um, no, I, I had zero idea. I knew that. We had to create pressure on that guy. That quarterback was really, really making a lot of plays with his feet. So uh, Dylan, uh, you know, Rosiak made an incredible uh, sack on him, being able to keep it in front. And I'm sure the back end, you know, kind of covered it down pretty well. So. How do you re you missed two overtime wins for you. How do you remain calm in this situation? Because you seem to be pretty like like just there. How's that work? Uh, just to the preparation, you know, understanding what we're going to see from the defense, understanding our red zone offense, because that's what it is in those overtime situations. And whether it's us running downhill, whatever it is, or putting the ball up in those one-on-one -on -one situations, um, we practice it all the time. You know, right? you know, one -on -one and uh, inside run, whatever it is. You know, just at the end of the day, it's about one guy doing a job. And, uh, you know, collectively, eleven guys doing doing You guys have struggled against Purdue in recent years. How does it feel to get that monkey off your back, especially with a game like that in front of your own crowd? Yeah, it was really cool. I just wanted to win it for my teammates, really, and our coaches, staff, who have you know been a part of this game for uh, for a while. Uh, not, not coming out on the right side of it. So, um, you know, for our fan base, for our program, uh, it was really, really cool to do that, especially coming off last year, really kind of getting embarrassed.
embarrassed and um, you know, to, to kind of um, play well as an offense after man playing really, really poorly last year. You know, starting with me was um, a confidence booster for us moving forward to be able to put up 50 points was um, really cool. The game Josh had, uh, the game Josh had, given his career and his journey here. I mean, how cool was that to see him put up those big numbers? Really, really cool. You know, he had a lot of success his very freshman year. I wasn't here, but uh, that's what I hear. And, uh, struggle with injury and things like that. So. Just to, you know, to see him throughout the week, throughout the whole entire year, just do, do his job and to put one foot in front of the other, um, to, to just keep chipping away at the details of his position. I knew he was going to um, you know, play really well today. And you know, throughout the game, I trusted him with every assignment that he had, whether it was getting it to him downhill or in pass protection and catch the ball too. So um, it was really cool.